Welcome. It is tile day today. I get to do the floor, which I always enjoy doing the floors a lot more than doing walls because it's just easier with the thin set. Um, anyway, here's my project. I have about uh, one square foot or so of this mosaic. It does have to go in a certain way, obviously. <clears throat> so I'm pre-opening a bunch of sheets, keeping them separated with the cardboard. I have already pre-laid out my first row along the bathtub and marked it carefully with the marker. Uh, because this is the this is the gap that I need to be really consistent right up against the bathtub. Um, the rest of it is going to go under baseboard, um, so I can just use the tile nipper, and you can you can see the difference. The tile nipper is not it gives you a decent cut, but it's not good enough for the bathtub. But the bathtub edge, I did cut with the wet saw. It's the only time I should need the wet saw for this job. And so my tiles are already stacked in the right order. I have my line. I have my mesh tape ready to go along the seams. So I have a on my little cut ends from here. I have a little pile uh, in case I need them. Uh, all the same things when I cut the right side on my little extra pieces I'll stack up and um, so I can grab those and put them on the ends. So here we go I'm going to finish unboxing a few more of these mix up thin set and uh, go after it. And the first thing I do is I put the mesh tape uh, to join the backer board uh, pieces. Uh, this can be done beforehand um, and let it dry, but it's best just to do it um, while you're tiling, especially on the floor. Um, it's nice to have the pieces already pre-cut along the edge of the bathtub. Um, here in a second, I will show you how I start the rows. Um, right there, I um, the pattern is uh, four pieces to a line. Four, four rows make the pattern. So the first um, actually the second row I did a little bit shorter uh, because I don't want the, uh, the, the the line between the sheets to go all the way straight down the line I want to I want to stack them kind of like uh, you do with um, with other tiles um, anyway I want to I want to stack them uh, so that you don't if there is a small variance you don't see that when you're standing in the bathroom looking. Um, now when you're laying the tile, you have to make sure that you use this wooden, I have a wooden tamper. It's just a flat board uh, that I, after I lay each tile, I will tamp each piece down uh, all along between the pieces, between the mosaic pieces, or between the sheets actually. And uh, that'll help keep that level. Um, but I, you know, not having any pieces stick up. Here I am putting in, cutting the little pieces for the edges. Um, the having the tile nipper handy uh, works well, and you make sure you tamp that down flat. Whenever you're doing this, this kind of tile, it's um, very important to uh, get your thin set as even as possible. If you have too much thin set in any one area, it will uh, it will come through the tile and that'll just give you extra uh, scraping uh, you have to do to clean that out after it dries. Uh, so as long as I found it, as long as you're really careful, whenever you're placing the thin set, scraping it out. Uh, you don't have to do a whole lot of cleanup, which makes the job go a whole lot faster. I also found out, um, unfortunately, I created a nice line, that black line, 
but once I spread the thin set, I could not see it, uh, which is very frustrating. But whenever I laid it out, I, I did make sure that there was a, an even reveal along the bathtub. So basically I just kept the tiles even, created the same reveal, and everything turned out fine. I didn't really need that. That line was main, was was helpful to get it set, get the job set up right uh, before I started with with the thin set anyway. This next sheet along the edge of the bathtub, you can see I missed a black dot. Uh, there, there was a missing piece from one of the sheets, and uh, yeah, I put a white one in instead of a black one. And I didn't even notice this until after I grouted. So um, I'm still trying to decide whether or not to fix it. Um, you can see it pretty clearly now from this overhead shot. But in order to fix it, I would have to dig out the piece. Um, putting a new piece in with thin set is not too difficult, but then I had to buy a whole new box of grout just to do that. Um, so I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I fix it or leave it? I don't know. I made sure and set the um, bucket of thin set on a little piece of drywall um, to spread out the weight of it as you can see here and of course continuing to be really careful as you lay it and uh, tamping it down with that flat board it gives you a really nice flat floor also a mosaic tile is very it's very difficult, uh, this small hex tile, because you can't use spacers with it. And if the floor is not perfectly level, then it's really hard to get the perfect reveal along the edges between the sheets. So you just have to be really patient with it and, um, and really just make a lot of minute adjustments. Okay, if you just look here, you'll see that I messed up with the pattern and uh, some of the black dots are not in the right spot, which funny thing is, is I didn't notice this until after I finished. You'll see me at the end, give a thumbs up to the camera. And then a minute after that, I realized, oh no. Uh, so I contemplated leaving it, but it, it, there's just no way I could have looked at that such that big of a mistake for the rest of my life. So I ended up having to, this last rows, these rows that I'm putting in right now, I had to pull them all out. It, was, it wasn't dry, obviously. And I just moved everything over two tiles to the left and that lined it up perfectly. And if you look at my next video of the grout, you'll see that it was fixed. And of course, right here under the door frame, I had to be really careful to cut the pieces just right and your tile needs to go under the door frame for it to look correct. Um, that is very important.